Welcome back to the kitchen. It's been a while since I've done a hashtag baking with Jim video and I figured that I owed you one. So today I am going to attempt to make lemon meringue pie. I can tell you now I don't think it's going to go very well. There are a lot of eggs involved in lemon meringue pie and if you have seen my past baking videos you know that I don't do very well with eggs. Anyway, these are the ingredients. Eggs, butter, an orange, which I think is very weird because we're making lemon meringue pie, not orange pie. Uh, lemons, we have plain flour, corn flour, which is fun because it's like one of those weird materials that's neither liquid or solid. Um, icing sugar, and golden caster sugar. There's a whole variety of sugars involved. Let's get going. So, according to the instructions here, I am making my own pastry, which is really annoying because I literally just got back from the shop and I bought these ingredients and I could have bought my own pastry. Uh, for the pastry, you need 175 grams of the flour, 100 grams of the cold butter cut into small pieces, one tablespoon of the icing sugar and one egg yolk. I'm supposed to save the white for the meringue though. Basically, it says here you put it all in a food processor and use the pulse button until it binds. I have a food processor right here. It's lovely and it's pink and I bought it for Tanya for Christmas. But she has said to me that under no circumstances am I allowed to use it. What a bitch. So I'm going to have to do it by hand. Scales. Uh, you'll be pleased to know that actually I had a bit of a sort out of the kitchen uh, a few days ago. So I should know where everything is. Yeah, that'll do. Right, 175 grams of plain flour. Oh, 175 grams. Boom! 100 grams of the butter cut into small pieces. It says make sure your butter is cold. This is cold, but I still don't like it. Oh, I don't like it, I don't like it. Oh, I can't pick it up, it's too slippery. How much do you weigh? Oh, not quite 100, very close though. How did someone invent butter? Like it's a weird thing to make. Tell you what, let's get some milk and just mix it up loads. Okay, um, I'm gonna wash them. One tablespoon of the icing sugar. Does icing sugar usually go in pastry? That seems like a weird thing to do. An egg yolk. This is the bit where it could go wrong. I'm gonna get a glass, I think. I'm already thinking I've done this wrong because my glass seems a bit too small. Is it weird that I kind of want to put the yolk in my hand just to feel what it's going to... Oh no, I regret it, I regret it, I regret it, I regret it! Oh! <laughs> I thought it'd be really fun. It wasn't, it was horrible. Finally, a tablespoon of cold water. Why am I doing it this way? Surely I should have walked the bowl over to the spoon. No, you're in. Now I think with pastry you have to kind of keep it cool, don't you? And just use your fingertips. So, here we go. I wish I just bought pastry. So after many dainty fingers later, I think I have something that resembles pastry. It's much lumpier than any pastry I've ever seen before. Um, and it's warmer than I'd like it to be, but hey ho, pastry is made, I suppose? Tip the pastry onto a lightly floured surface, gather until smooth and then roll out. Then line a 23 by 2.5 centimetre loose bottom fluted flan tin. I don't have one of those. Trim and neaten the edges, press pastry into the flutes. The pastry is quite rich, so don't worry if it cracks, just press it back together. Prick the base with a fork, line with foil, shiny side down, and chill for one, oh, chill for half an hour to an hour, or overnight. That's a big difference, half an hour to an hour slash overnight, that's a whole 12 hour difference. Anyway, that seems like quite a complex step, so, baby steps, I think. Oh my god, do I have a rolling pin? Do I have a rolling pin? Oh, rolling pin, we're alright. Is that enough? Is that too much? How much flour do you put down on your surface? Oh. This might take a while. <laughs> My pastry's not looking so great. If I'm honest, it looks a bit like Canada right now, like the shape of a country. So I'm just going to try and put it in a tin and see what happens. I've just found this tin, or pot, pan, I don't know what you'd call this. Um, it's never been used, it's still got a sticker on it. 
It looks like it would hold meringue, so I'm gonna assume it's gonna hold meringue. Now how do I get that into there? Ah! Oh no, oh no, it's gonna break! It's gonna break! Shit, clearly at this point it's not supposed to look like that. I'm just gonna keep like prodding it until it fits. Currently have like a sort of pastry brand canyon in the middle, so <laughs> I'm taking pastry from the edges, filling out the middle. At this point I'm going to level with you and tell you that pastry is not easy and my pastry is not good, but there you go, now it goes in the fridge for at least half an hour. Wait, I just put it in the fridge and realised that I didn't prick it with a fork or put foil on it, shiny side down, so get it back out of the fridge. And then foil. Shit. Do I have any foil? Cling film. Put a baking sheet in the oven and heat to 200 degrees. I'm not sure what baking sheet is. Is that just baking paper? Must be. Uh, bake the pastry case blind, filled with dried beans. I haven't got any dried beans. No, I told me they've got any beans. For 15 minutes, then remove the foil. Ah, that's why you need foil. Whoops. Uh, and bake for a further five to eight minutes until the pastry is pale, golden, and cooked. Set aside, can be done a day ahead if you want, blah, blah, blah. Uh, lower the oven to 180 degrees. Right, so basically what I need to do is fill the pastry up with something that's heavy but won't cook or burn and find something to use instead of foil because cling film will just melt. Awesome. I don't have any foil. I don't know what I can put on instead of foil, so I'm just gonna do more baking paper and just weigh it down somehow. I've got a load of quinoa, <laughs> but it doesn't weigh very much. A selection of nuts? Some prunes, maybe? If I put a plate on it, is that a ridiculous idea? I feel like the weight isn't really kind of evenly distributed because it's just around sort of the rimmy bit of the plate, but it fits. Got to be better than nothing, surely. While the pastry bakes, prepare the filling. Mix the corn flour, sugar, and lemon zest in a medium saucepan. So that is two level tablespoons of corn flour, 100 grams of golden caster sugar, and two finely grated zests of lemon. Today, Mr. Saucepan, you are going to be size medium. I don't know if it's large or small or medium, but the recipe requires a medium one, and it's the only one I have. Two tablespoons of corn flour. 100 grams of golden caster sugar. You're gonna be my zester today. Oh yeah, I love zesting. Oh, I just realized that none of the lemon was coming out. Turns out there's a bottom on this grater. Come on, off you come. There you go. Strain and stir the lemon juice of two to three lemons gradually. Ah, crap, I dropped the lemon in it. Okay, I've just swallowed a lemon pip. That's all right, isn't it? Don't do any harm. Make orange juice up to 200 milliliters with water and strain into the pan. So does that mean Get the juice of the orange, and if it doesn't make 200 ml, add water. That's what I'm going to assume it means. 200 ml of orange juice and mostly water. In it goes. It's just occurred to me that I haven't even had the pan on. <laughs> I've just been using it as like a storage device. Um, cook over medium heat, stirring constantly until thickened and smooth. Oh god, my pastry's going too. Okay, stop pastry. Let's get rid of the paper. Brilliant, but it's kind of weighing itself down a bit. So further five to eight minutes. I'm gonna give it six. And then I put this on a medium heat. Once the mixture bubbles, remove from the heat and beat in 85 grams of butter until melted. Then beat in four egg yolks and one whole egg. Save the whites of the yolks for the meringue. Oh my God, the pastry's done. Worst time of year, I've got egg everywhere. Okay, one egg yolk is done. Oh, that's not bad. As if 
This is the way new animals come into the world. That is filthy, disgusting, horrible stuff. Evolution is strange. Add in the 85 grams of butter. Stop! Okay, butter is beaded. Add in the egg yolks. Whew. Okay, up until that point, it had been quite calm, and then suddenly, it just went mental. Keep stirring vigorously for a few minutes until the mixture thickens and plops from the spoon. Oh, I didn't put my whole egg in! Oh god, I've still got one egg left. Okay, let's add that in now. Right, this mixture is bubbled and thick, so let's turn you off. The meringue. Put the egg whites in a large bowl, whisk to soft peaks, then add half the sugar, a spoonful at a time, whisking between each addition without overbeating. That's a fine line to tread. 200 grams of the sugar measured. Let's do this. I'm just gonna sort of gradually add the sugar as I go. Uh, it's exactly the same consistency as like two and a half minutes ago. I'm gonna add in the corn flour now and just kind of see what happens. Two tablespoons. I feel like we are nearly there. I've got all the components. Surely now it's just a case of putting it together and cooking it. Let's find out. Quickly reheat the filling and pour into the pastry cakes. Immediately put spoonfuls of the meringue around the edge of the filling. If you start in the middle, the meringue may sink. Then spread it so it touches the pastry. This will anchor it and help it stop sliding. Uh, pile the rest into the centre, spreading so it touches the surface of the hot filling and starts to cook. Then give it a swirl. I'll leave it there before I look at the next step. So, turn this back on for a bit. Start from the edges. Okay, so now that I put the meringue on there, I want to work quickly because I'm worried that it's going to start cooking from the bottom up because of the uh, mixture underneath. Uh, return to the oven for 18 to 20 minutes until the meringue is crisp and lightly coloured. Right, it's on 180, let's put this bad boy in and wish it luck. Now we wait, well actually now you wait, I tidy this crap up. Ta-da! One lemon meringue pie! And it's really hot, I can't get it out. Um, I was going to get it out and show you, but Joe's here. There's Joe, say hello Joe. Hey uh, guys! It's just popped over, so we're going to go out and by the time I get back, it will be cool, and I'll take it out, and I'll open it up, and I'll try it. So, see you in a bit, and feed the rest to Joe. Okay, so it's a few hours later now, and I am back home. My lemon meringue tie is now cool. Amazing. Like, utterly amazing. I can't believe I made it. I am now officially an expert at lemon meringue pie. This is really good. If you do make one, which I really think you should because it's incredible, send me a picture on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag BakingWithJim. That's all I have to show you today. Thank you very much for watching. I love you and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Me again. Before you go, click some buttons. Press this one right here to watch my last video on this channel or click this one here to watch my daily vlogs. They're really good.